Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Creative Cow, and today we're taking a look at some of the brand new features in After Effects CS5. Now, one of the things that I'm most happy about is that there's a brand new update to the Color Finesse plugin that's bundled with After Effects. This is a third party tool that gives you great control over color and, in fact, turns After Effects into a full featured color grading station. Let's take a really quick look at how it works. Now, you can go ahead and apply this adjustment right to footage or use it as an adjustment layer. I'm going to go ahead and use the adjustment layer option because I find that to be a little more flexible. We can then choose effects, synthetic aperture, color finesse. And this applies it and you see that by default nothing happens and that's on purpose. When you apply a color grading effect, nothing should happen until you start to tweak it. Now, if you twirl down here, you can get a simplified sort of interface, and this allows you to go after the shadows or the highlights here. And notice how we could be changing the color balance for different areas. So in this case, putting a little bit more blue into the shadows and a little more red into the highlights to warm those up a bit, or the mid-tones there. And notice how we can go after and make a pretty pronounced adjustment. You also have an auto option that will analyze the image and attempt to fix color and exposure for you. Let's go ahead and just reset that quickly. Another thing that I really like is the ability to click load preset. And this actually lets you go to particular color settings that you've created or others that you've downloaded. So it's a quick way to store your looks and bring them up again for a future job. And besides all these things you have here, you know, the ability to do nice curve adjustments, Notice there we're doing a nice little S curve. Let's bring out the exposure a bit, pull that down. That's looking nice. If you twirl down, you'll find other adjustments here for all sorts of other controls, HSL, RGB, and a great limiter that allows you to go ahead and set broadcast limiting so this isn't going to be too bright for a particular color system. But the coolest thing is this. Color Finesse has its own very powerful interface. In fact, it rivals applications like Apple Color. And if we click the full interface button, this is going to go ahead and launch the application, and you see you get great scopes. Look at this. We've got full reference scopes here. We can look at waveform. We can look at RGB parade. We can look at an overlay or a vector scope and a histogram. And this is one of the true strengths of Color Finesse, is that it is a full featured color grading application. So right inside of this, you get fantastic scope. So if you're an After Effects designer, or maybe you're enhancing some footage from Premiere Pro, this totally lets you go in and tweak the color and stay within the broadcast standards that you need with a great limiter. Now, there's a lot more to this plugin you're going to have to dig in, but I wanted to make sure you saw this great feature that's included in After Effects CS5. We've got a lot more training coming to you here from Creative Cow in the coming months. You'll see a whole bunch of new titles in the Creative Cow Master Series. My name's Rich Harrington, and thanks for checking this out.